Eric Overby once stated, The only way we will love our neighbors as ourselves is by getting to know our neighbors, even in the midst of our differences. Hello, my name is Caleb Hughes, and I'm 14 years old. The major that I hope to pursue in the future is criminal justice. My career pursuits are to finish high school, to enroll in the University of Xavier, to get my bachelor's degree in criminal justice, go to law school, pass the bar, and finally become a lawyer. My family includes myself, my younger sister, my oldest sister, who is a sixth grade math and science teacher, my mom, who is a real estate agent for Brokers Real Estate, and finally my stepdad, who is an engineer for Townsend Engineering Company. Three of my passions are to finish college, go to law school, and start a happy life and have a happy family. With all that being said, I will now present some objects that represent me as a person. The first object that I would like to present is my cologne. Why my cologne represents me is because everywhere that I go, it does not matter where I go, I will always be wearing this. Even if that's out in public, to school, or to the gym, I will always be wearing this. And as a whole, it represents me because this is what I wear every day, and I have kind of, and I've kind of started to adapt to this fragrance, and it has just been my unique scent. <clears throat> the next object that I would like to present is, are my AirPods. My AirPods represent me because it does not matter what I'm doing, even if I'm doing homework, I'm going out for a walk, I'm going to school, in the gym, it does not matter what I'm doing, I'm always wearing my AirPods. These represent me because I'm always, I always have them in. For example, right now, I always have them in. They are a must need for me every day, and I always keep them in my pocket. The last object that represents me are my baseball sunglasses. These represent me because I'm always wearing them. Even on the baseball field or off the baseball field, I'm always wearing them. These represent me because you'll always see me wearing these on the baseball field. Sometimes in public or when I'm going somewhere, but it's usually mostly on the baseball field. So in conclusion, these have been the objects that represent me. I will now transition with a communication lesson that I have learned from a movie. That movie being The Blind Side. In the movie The Blind Side, a boy named Michael Orr has trouble speaking with people and he is severely shy. One day, he, he is on the playground and a boy named RJ comes up to him and tries to talk to him. But Michael doesn't respond. So, RJ keeps talking to him and eventually Michael does respond. And after getting to know each other real well, RJ invites Michael over to his house and they start a very good friendship. Later in the movie, Michael moves in with RJ and RJ's parents adopt Michael to avoid homelessness. He also becomes a very great high school football athlete and gets drafted in the NFL. The lesson that I have learned from this is that it takes a while to get comfortable with people, but once you do get comfortable, a great friendship can be adapted with people. And you never know, maybe that friendship can go even farther. The next thing that I would like to talk about is words that describe me. The five words that describe me are patient, calm, dedicated, hardworking, and strong. Not strong like physical strength, but mental strength. These represent me because they represent my traits as a person and how I am. In conclusion, this has been my self-introduction speech. I hope you guys learned enjoying a little bit more about myself, and I can't wait to learn a little bit more about you guys. So, with that being said, this has been my self-introduction speech, and I will now end on a quote by NPL Maxim, who once said, The reason of communication is the response that you get. I hope that the rest of you guys have a great day, and I cannot wait to learn about you guys a little bit more.